you can see the difference in morale here. On a three morale, this is interesting, a uh, 42 through 64 would suppress me. So that means I have to roll at least a 42. An 11 through 41, uh, no effect. Whereas up on the five, uh, which is what we roll for these guys, a five, 11 through 25 was no effect, and then 25 through 54 is suppressed. Don't get on there, 41. So we just made it, okay, no effect. So I've moved one hex, I'm gonna prop right there. These guys are at such range, one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's not good. Okay, prop these guys up here. These guys, and I believe he can have more than one Overwatch fire. I really should have done a little refresh before we got started, but these guys will fire again. It's a 10. They're impartially protective. Actually, that is, uh, it's got trees in it. And I believe that's going to cause the same type of uh, protection, partial protective. One thing about this version of the game uh, versus, say, Semperfy is there's uh, a lot less uh, instructive information on the map, so or uh, on the turn cycle, for instance. So in Semperfy, I can look at I can look at the move table and it can tell me, boom, woods are uh, partially protected. But here I've got to remember that or know it. So ten at a range of. <laughs> Three, right there, we're right on the edge, that's fine. Three, partially protective, we'll call it. And no mods. All right, they fell off the table. Should we roll or keep it? That's a really crappy roll, we're not gonna keep it. That's still a crappy roll, see? It all works out in the end, 22, no effect. All right, he's gonna flip to fire. I am going to move these guys to here and stay in move mode. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. This guy's set up with three damage. I'll just show you. So these guys here, whoa, easy there, Tex. Set up with three damage. That's just part of the deal. I decided to, instead of spreading the uh, the pain, I, I allocated it all to one unit. We'll just keep them out of trouble. All right, let's move these guys. What's a one for infantry? One, two, three. Three. One. Ah, I mean, uh, three. Five. Six. All right, so that is the Germans' movement for this turn. Not terribly gripping, but nevertheless, we're here and we're playing. Uh, I. I'm actually not going to move a lot of units. I don't think I need to move anything except for these trucks. And since we now have Germans over here, I'm going to try and go around. So, right, a movement of 13. Oh, these guys are going to crap all over me. I can. We can go down this hill. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. And we're going to stay in move mode. All right. Okay. Oh, that wine is good. 
moves. I have no moves to execute here. Now what I could have done with these guys that were uh, able to see these chaps is I could have used my mortars over here and fired at them. That would have given us a strength of 3, 9, Oh, that's another 6 there, so that would have been 15. So we could have had a 15 strength attack on these guys here. And the difference between a 10 and a 15 is substantial. So we'll uh, pay that, keep that in mind next turn. And this is one of the things about this game that I love, but it's frustrating as a solo player, is there are always uh, considerations to be had regardless of the uh, the complexity. No, not regardless of complexity. Regardless of the situation, there are always multiple options or choices. And that, that makes it fun. Sometimes it slows the play down a little bit. All right, so we're going to... Uh, that is the end of the turn. At the end of the... Actually, at the end of the German's turn, he can elect... He has to switch to fire mode when he's suppressed. He can elect to... Uh, no longer be suppressed. He's going to stay suppressed for the moment because I don't want to take another shot. If you elect to uh, exit suppressed mode or paralyzed mode, move from paralyzed to suppressed, then uh, you take uh, these guys have an opportunity to fire at, you, fire at you. And that's not what we want to have right now. We've already taken one step loss. At least for the moment. So uh, we are I think based on our handy dandy turn cycle, we have our cleanup phase to take care of. Now if there's any illumination or etc, we take all that off and we'd uh, adjust the smoke uh, markers and all sorts of fun stuff like that. No, that's not right. No, it is just... It is just snowing, which also impacts movement and range. So that's a consideration that I made a mistake on. Crap doodle. There are four types of uh, weather we have uh, in this game. Mist. rain and snow, so it, it, it's pretty interesting. Um, that you know, obviously impacts uh, uh, spotting ranges, although that doesn't appear to be reflected in the current spotting ranges. It's only night or twilight that impacts range. I would probably need to check the special scenario rules for that. So, that's one turn. How long did that take? 25 minutes. We're going to be here for a long time, fellas. Alright, let's see. Real quickly, let's check the special rules for this game in terms of weather. Get out of this, get out of the light so you can see the board. In the Semper Fi game, the Semper Fi game, the snow reduced everything to a one hex, uh, one hex range. There's a the Semper Fi game is actually real pretty too, by the way. Very nice. These are what the new counters look like. see those okay that's the new cat of mix <clears throat> I'm just digging out the weather and terrain chart here so we can see if I'm screwing something up here doesn't look like it Snow is definitely a one a one hex range. So that movement over here was probably not an eligible shot. But 
but I think for now we're going to let that stand. That's a great thing about playing by yourself. You can elect to do whatever the hell you want, right? Okay. Now, now initiative becomes important because we can see people potentially. Americans win initiative for artillery again. And with these build intervening buildings in the way, I don't believe we're gonna have a shot at spotting those guys. They're suppressed, we're not gonna be able to see them. And I don't believe you can just call fire in wherever you want. You have to be able to see the hex. So but this might be a good place to pause and I'll kick, I'll kick it back off in five or ten minutes if uh, that makes sense. What is it? Quarter to twelve. So that's possibly a good, uh, a good deal. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for hanging out at the big board. Mm -hmm.